Hi friends, we'll learn how using a pandas data frame will create a CSV file. The CSV files are used for the data exchange between two different programs or across the platform. CSV uh, comma separated value or CSV files are have high utility. So now let's learn how we can uh, save a data frame as a CSV file. So let's uh, have imported pandas here. So library is available. Now I'll uh, create a uh, dictionary first then we'll move to a data frame so I am just creating it to giving a key here now the values I will put a list so I'll say Alex Ron you can these are all sample names so you can give whatever name you want now I'll just come out uh, because every student will have an ID let's uh, fill the ID uh, also with that so I'll say one comma two comma three fine. So now let's uh, fill one uh, mark also in one subject. So I'm telling or let's give math. Fine math. How much mark they got it? Okay. So mark I'm feeding forty, then thirty five, then again forty eight. So this is the mark. So my dictionary is ready. Now let me create the uh, data frame my data equal to pd pd is pandas uh, alias what you have used uh, collected at the first so pd dot data frame now here data equal to my data my dict dictionary is there now my data frame is ready let's check once so i'll just run it once let's see how my data yeah this is my uh, data frame is ready now instead of printing here let us create one sorry I am from uh, let's create one uh, CSV file we will we'll be creating my data dots to CSV this will create the, the transfer the data to CSV file lot of options are there minimum thing is let's give a file name and where it will be created you can see I will create this file I will say my file I am giving the name CSV now this file will be created in the same directory because I am not given any path here so it will be created here you can see the file will be stored here or created here with the data so let's uh, run this yeah you can see my file CSV is generated now let's just open this and see yeah you can see that all whatever data I have given name then ID then math subject mark is also there so this is my uh, CSV file is generated but it is generated on the same position where I am uh, running this script back to my script here so I can give a path also suppose I want a D drive let's say inside data and like this it will be this will be created in my D drive inside the folder data and this file will be created so I can continue with whatever wherever I want and it may vary on the type of operating system the path you may have to give it differently that's that's how I'll just write it now we'll explore the options in our CSV file you must have seen that there is a row with all our headers suppose we don't want our header to be there and we just want only the data to go so in that case we can write header equal to false so now there will not be any header I had removed earlier the CSV file whatever was created now let's recreate it so it's created here let's see now there is no header you can see only that straight way the data has gone the name that um, ID math whatever you are written those things have gone there so now you can see here that there is a index column is also added it is there now let's see we don't want the index column to be there so that we will see next by default this header is true so if I will remove it also then the header will be there now let me just try index equal to false by default this is also true so index will be added if you don't want you have to specifically mention it as false so I am running this my file CSV is created now let's see there is no earlier whatever the index row was added it is no more there this is for my editor part what is for numbering and all so here there is now this is removed you can see here okay so the index is not there now I can restrict the columns also I don't want uh, here there are three columns are there I don't want all the three to be there uh, what I want is uh, let's say columns I will specify what are the columns to be included so let me just uh, give a list of it what are the columns to be included I am selling name and you give ID only 
you can change it whatever way you want so these two columns only should go other the math uh, i don't want math to go so let's uh, run this and see how the csv file is created so now let's see where is it yeah you can see only name and id nothing else is there fine now we'll go for our data handling database uh, taking data from a database how we'll manage it let me just connect to my mysql i have a connection engine i am using sql uh, kme so here i am importing the library and second line i am creating the connection engine so here i'll give my uh, user id and password it's in my local host you can you have to give your user id and password so you can see other uh, tutorials also video tutorials there on handling mysql database from python so this is my db fine now the local host okay this is my connection is ready uh, let's first you, if you want to create the tables and all so you can that uh, link is available the sql dump is available you can create the your sample table in your database and here i am just uh, collecting rows of data from my stu sample student table and storing it as a csv file so i am what i will do first i will write a sql so SQL is say select star from student. This is purely a query only. This is a where I'm storing it in a variable. Student is my sample table. So th from this table, I am collecting all the records. So I'm giving st all the columns and all the records. So that's all. Now that is now let me execute and create a data frame using this. So I will say my data this is equal to pd now read sql this will this uh, uh, method i can use to execute my query and get the data so read sql there is exclusively another tutorial is available you can read more about that so now inside this what i will pass is first the query i have just written at the above or you can directly write it here also it's better to uh, maintain the query here now then i am passing the connection engine or my connection at the top that's all now my data frame is ready now if you want to see how the data looks you can see that let's run this and see yeah you can see here below all the records are displayed so here it is so many 30 around 30 35 and sometime i keeps on adding removing records so more records are there say instead of that i just want to limit it i can change the query also I will say give me 10 records only starting from the first record so I will use a limit query and execute it you can see now my uh, rows are limited to 10 records only so 0 starting from 0 up to 10 record I am getting so these are the columns already available in my student table now I will as you know this is a very simple now once the data frame is there I have to just go and create the CSV file so I will say my data dot to csv whatever we have uh, sorry csv we have already know that then my file dot csv now this data from the data frame which is in turn collected from mysql samples table so it will be creating the csv file now let me this is not required so let's run this and see how what my yeah my file csv is created let's see this you can see this is the file with all the data i have this id name class mark all are taken from our uh, sample student table the sql dump is available you can verify all these uh, four, four five columns are taken from our sample table this is how we'll be creating csv file taking from uh, from any other you can, you can read uh, one csv file change it and do it do uh, and create another csv file also